Sure. <laughs> Ozzy, are you gonna be sad when I'm gone? Uh... Now, do we really need to see more of that famous basement? Or is this just another way to keep Topher Grace's career going? Either way, here's the inside scoop on where that 70s show is going. Is there another spin-off in the works? Whether you're a millennial or Gen Z, you probably grew up watching that 70s show. So you'll probably remember Topher Grace in his iconic role as Eric Foreman, the kid at the center of it all. Now that we're a couple of decades away from the show's end, we've got a brand new spin-off. Topher made a long-awaited appearance in the first episode of That 90s Show. The spin-off follows Eric and Donna Pinciotti's daughter, Leia, spending the summer of 95 with her grandparents. We got to see a lot of familiar faces, including Laura Preppen, Ashton Kutcher, Wilmer Valderrama, Mila Kunis, and plenty more. But is Topher already thinking ahead? In a tweet after the season 2 renewal announcement, he teased something more to come. Moving past the 90s, he dropped a little reference to the 2000s show and joked that it would drop in 2038. You might be wondering, well, where did the 80s go? There's actually an answer in there somewhere. Back in the early 2000s, there was actually a spin-off called That 80s Show, which had a whole new set of characters. The fact that barely anyone can remember it says a lot. Think I might be a one-woman guy. You hear that, Jackie? Fez is a one-woman guy. Yeah, surprising, but true. The show was canceled after 13 episodes, but that 90s show is doing a lot better for itself. So, will we actually see a spin-off? There's no way to know just yet, but a more likely spin-off could be that 50s show. Yeah, that's right. We might get to see Kitty and Red in their younger years at some point. Okay, so we've heard from Topher. What do the other OG cast members have to say? Let's hear from everyone else. That 90s show has become an instant hit. Whether it's the grown-ups 70s show fans, or a whole new group of viewers. The show definitely made some waves. That's why Netflix gave it an instant renewal, which is pretty much unheard of from the streaming giant. You're the best lover I ever had. <laughs> Stuff you said to Jackie? So mean and hurtful. I only wish I'd said it myself. Deborah Jo Rupp, or as we know her, Kitty Foreman, was the first to drop a reaction. She posted the renewal video and hinted in the caption that Kitty was already back to baking. Her on-screen husband, Kurtwood Smith, made sure everyone knew Grandpa Red was on board too. He posted an Instagram story with his famous catchphrase, letting everyone know where exactly he was going to put his foot. The two grandparents are also executive producers on the series, so it makes sense that they're super excited. Wilmer Valderrama, who we all loved as Fez, also reposted the renewal to his Instagram story, congratulating both of them on the news. But he didn't finish there. He even posted congratulating his nieces and nephews. I'm not crying, you are. His on-screen girlfriend, played by Andrea Anders, joined in on the fun as well. She called the show Winter in Wisconsin. For everyone who was confused, that means it ain't going away anytime soon. The show definitely deserved its renewal. It brought back a bunch of old fans and introduced the show to everyone who was too young to watch the OG back in the day. So I told her to get lost and now she's in tears. <laughs> Well, what kind of crying is it? But now that we've fallen in love with season one, what can we expect from the next one? We should talk about the big news. For everyone who watched the first season, you'll already know that it covers the summer of 1995. So naturally, season two will take a look at 1996. The Foreman family isn't going away anytime soon, and we'll be back in that basement in Wisconsin before we know it. I mean, we hardly, well, I do need a place to live. But you don't want me invading her. Well, we do watch the same shows. The announcement came with a picture of a stack of VHS tapes. Let's just move past the fact that the Gen Z cast probably doesn't know what those are. Leah Foreman is coming back with all her friends, including Gwen, Nate, Nikki, Ozzy, and of course, Jay. The last one's the son of Kelso and Jackie, otherwise known as one of the most iconic couples to ever grace the small screen. We don't know if Kelso can control the weather for Jackie yet, but his son is is definitely making his mark on the basement. The team behind the 
the show is just as excited as the whole cast and the fans. The co-creator, Lindsay Turner, says they owe all the old and new fans for getting the show this far. The showrunner, Greg Mettler, said everyone was beyond excited, and he can't wait for everyone to return to Point Place soon. But before we can start thinking about season two, we have to hear from another OG star. It's no secret that Ashton Kutcher was one of the biggest stars of the original show. After all, he was one of the biggest things of the early 2000s for a reason. Plus, it's almost perfect that he ended up marrying Mila Kunis, who played Jackie on the show with him. But it looks like Mila has a lot more sway in their relationship. According to Ashton, when the sequel series was ready to go, he didn't even get a choice in the whole thing. His wife immediately said that they were doing it, no matter what the script looked like. She got extra real there for a second, saying they owed their entire careers to that 70s show. She wasn't ready to let anyone down. The fact that her co-star just happened to be her husband made it much easier for us to see Kelso and Jackie make a comeback. But she didn't think it was the right decision to have her and Kelso be married in the show. Come on, Jackie. I know it'll cheer you up. Let's go down to the mall and make fun of all the people coming out of the big and tall store. OG fans will remember that the show ends with Jackie and Fez together, and Mila still ships that. She thinks Kelso should have stayed with Brooke, since they literally had a baby together in that 70s show. But both she and Aston didn't really care about the script. All they wanted was to get back to Point Place, and I'm sure we're all happy about that. Brad, you need to go over there and apologize to Bob. He came in here all excited about his idea, and you just made him feel bad about himself. Yeah. So, about that spinoff. At this point, there's no way to know if we're getting a 2000s-themed spinoff. I mean, for crying out loud, they just got to the 90s. In a possible 2000s show, we'd probably see the 90s kids grow up as well. Just starting off adulthood, their parents would be a lot older too. But like the fans on Twitter are saying, Eric would probably still look the same. The man just doesn't age. I thought I was having this perfect summer and... Now it's all ruined. Honey, breakups suck. How would you know? But what we do know is that the sequel series might be sticking around for a while. In fact, Ashton Kutcher has super high hopes for the show's future. He actually said that he hopes they get to make 10 seasons of the show, which would cover the 2000s anyway. That might actually be more possible than getting a whole new show. Plus, who really wants to wait until 2038? It has to stop at some point. Pistachio. <laughs> For the upcoming season, we can probably hope to see Eric and Donna make a comeback since their kid is the star of the show. Kelso and Jackie might be returning too since Jay is a main character, but Ashton says Netflix hasn't hit him up about any of that just yet. Let's not lose hope though, the renewal news is still pretty fresh, so we might have to wait a while for any updates. And knowing Netflix, they'll probably keep stuff under wraps as long as they possibly can. Season 2 was pretty expected, seeing how almost everyone loved the sequel so much. Until then, catch up with the OG and the first season of the sequel. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.